how's it going Sagittarius it's Robin here welcome to my channel Aries Fire Tarot so I'm preparing to do your bonus reading for September 2021 and for this bonus read I'm using a spirit guide spread so it's going to ask who is the most available guide for you or uh, show you a new guide coming in so um, this is going to be for Sagittarius in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'm just going to shuffle out the good tarot a couple times. And my hands are getting sore because this is such a big deck. But um, yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Rem remember to comment and let me know what you think of the reading. And definitely remember to subscribe. So I just like to dive right in. You guys know that if you've seen my readings before. I like to keep the intro short. Just tell you the facts and then um, pump out the reading so in case you didn't know I am a channel and I do receive messages uh, from my ancestors and my angels and any other spirit guide that uh, is available during the time of the reading so let's have a card to represent your guide that's coming in or is already around you okay <clears throat> that you might not be aware of okay this is kind of interesting okay so i pulled the ten of water okay so in the good tarot deck this is a particularly very significant card for you guys so we have the laughing buddha okay so <sighs> buddha is very interesting as an entity and energy and can infuse you with love, luck, laughter, and luster, okay? So this is a very omnipresent energy. If you're not associated with Buddhism or anything like that, you might want to have a little bit of a deeper look or start doing... Um, like Buddhist chants or or maybe get a little Buddha icon or something like that because this guide is available for you. Extremely powerful, Sag. Okay, so happiness, just love, luck, joy, everything good, you know? Very, very, I'm getting the word very promising. Holds the promise of a new day for you. The promise of a new energy um incredible guide for you guys could be really catching your attention could be um elevating you to a different lifestyle lifeline timeline uh available interesting i got the word available inventory okay so you want to think of the universe as sort of this massive inventory of things that you can choose from so this could really highlight a brand new spirituality for you as well so let's see a message from buddha for you which is super cool okay i love this so much and you don't have to follow any type of specific spiritual path or religious path to understand how much power the buddha has for you um you know really symbolizes luck okay a message from your guide the four of earth so like basically buddha is saying stop acting like there's nothing available for you like stop acting like the things that you give away are not going to come back you know uh, the four of earth is this really, really nervous energy, um, not wanting to spend because, oh, there's not enough money or not want to give away emotion because, oh, they might not return it, you know? So this is the message from Buddha right now uh, is like, feel free to give away anything that you have because the inventory is absolutely massive, okay? And everything that you send out to the universe is return to you tenfold so it's time to really let down your guard Sagittarius and understand the law of reciprocity which is a law of the universe okay what goes around comes around so releasing your everything release your ideas release your finances release your emotions you know release your heart and understand that everything comes back to you multiplied okay so 
something your guide has been trying to get you to hear. Um, so if you hear crunching in the background, I'm really sorry, but Lacey decided to have breakfast just as I started recording your reading. So I'll try and talk a little bit louder because she's quite crunchy as an eater. <laughs> and I don't want to stop her because sometimes she skips meals and I worry about her. So something your guide has been trying to tell you. <sighs> Look how powerful you are. Look at this the tower intact just completely standing strong and there's no bad weather there's no lightning strike there's no shattering it's like you guys have built yourself into this powerhouse this strength you know you are stronger and deeper than you ever thought possible okay so <clears throat> it's like you're shrouded in this piece of nervousness that doesn't belong to you so where did that come from anyway you know did people tell you to calm down quiet down don't spend so much money uh you're falling in love with the wrong person you could have been corrected along the way to your path but you are so strong with the tower okay very strong you guys are getting this like <clears throat> massive boost to your core strength here your core strength of of love and light and sharing blessings so there's nothing to be afraid of i posted a meme on uh insta a little while ago that it was like you're a flesh covered skeleton um riding a rock around the sun so what are you so scared of anyway and that's basically the truth i mean this is a very fast life it goes by in a heartbeat and it's like the older you get the more you're amazed at how did i get to this age already so you've learned a lot but maybe people are taking that away from you but the Buddha is coming back in to infuse you with that energy and reminding you that you're as strong and as powerful and as everlasting as this tower card is. So let's see how you can be more receptive to messages in future from the Buddha. Okay, so um, this is really interesting. So the Buddha is actually asking you to go back within yourself and understanding that you can create anything in this life that you want. Like to really go back to your own roots, to open yourself to yourself. Like how well do you really know you? Do you appreciate where everything came from? What makes you tick? everything is your own influence and once you start to really stand strong with this core strength of the tower you're open to more from the universe okay so this is like really getting to know who you are and why you are the way you are and understanding and having empathy for maybe yourself for reacting in certain situations or getting upset or angry with other people when they try to direct you okay so what is your guide helping you with right now and you have very very strong energy coming in like infusing you with so much love right now so we have the messenger of fire <laughs> like this is such a sad face like hold on for a second so we've got the messenger of fire what is your guide helping you with right now? <laughs> this is taking the next steps on your life, okay? So being more receptive to good news, um, being more receptive to other people's opinions. Um, <clears throat> without being annoyed at who it is that is coming in. I mean, look at her. She's like, nobody asked you, okay? So sometimes... The messenger can be super annoying, but there's always a grain of truth in what people say. And if you're getting triggered by what other people are saying, that message is for you even more, okay? So your guide is helping you right now to lower your defenses when it comes to living your life and understanding yourself. 
so that you can come forth as this shining pillar of strength and just really love your life right now. So this is an incredibly deep message for you, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful. You've got so much going on here in these cards. Laughing Buddha, like I would run right out and buy one, buy the t-shirt, buy the hat, buy the figurine, do something to really bring this into you. Maybe even get a fountain like that, like something to really keep on like pouring that energy back into yourself and forgive other people for giving you messages that apply to themselves and not to you. Okay. My guides have stopped talking, so that means I do too. So, Sag, take care. <laughs> Bye.